Good morning children this is English video session for class 10 we are now dealing with the textbook packed with the sun sorry uh, the footprints without feet and uh, the this is a supplementary reader and the topic which we are dealing is chapter number 7 the necklace I repeat the name of the book is footprints without feet supplementary reader topic is chapter number 7 the necklace madam Lysel is unhappy because she felt that it's unfortunate that she was born in such a poor family in a clerical family she always thinks of richness she cried within herself and she was unhappy on seeing the worn out uh, furniture the the patched walls and the food which she prepared which is loved by her husband she says that this particular food that food was not in her mind that she thinks always of the dinners with silver vessels and and the uh, silver vessels and the people the beautiful dinner dining uh, rich places and the foods only that came to her mind she never thought that she has been uh, she is born she is uh, she feels that destiny had given her for such a poor place to live that is the clerk's family and she brooded and she was unhappy one day when her husband brought the letter of invited for the minister's residence she just threw she he thought that she will be so happy to go there but unfortunately she threw the letter the appointing the table saying what do you suppose i would wear to such a thing of that what do you think i would wear okay he had not thought of that he stammered such a question was not expected why the dress you wear when you go to the theater it's it seems very pretty to me he was silent stupefied in the dismay at the sight of his wife weeping he stammered what's the matter what's the matter she was crying she started crying because unfortunately she felt that her husband does not understand her suffering he was stupefied he was dumbstruck how to control her crying by a violent effort she had controlled her vexation and responded in a calm voice wiping her moist cheeks nothing only i have no dress and consequently i cannot go to this affair give your card to some colleagues whose wife is better fitted out they are better fitted out than i so what he says is so what he says what she says is listen i will she composes herself she relaxes and she says that this dress will not i will not be able i don't have a proper dress a proper dress for the occasion i may not be able to participate in the uh, dinner so you please uh, in the residence that is the on the monday evening residence so please give it to some of the friends who has whose wife has got a better clothing and better than me okay he was grieved he became so sad he never he loves his wife so much was not able to cope up with the sadness of his wife let us see matilda let us see matilda how much will a suitable costume cost something that would serve you for other occasions also something very simple also so she reflected on some second thinking of a sum that she could ask and without bringing up with an immediate refusal and frightened exclamation from an economical club okay so she will say some amount and that will become a shock to the fellow and all these things she expected from him so she did not know how to tell this that it would be too costly or that he cannot afford such economical that it cannot be possible for the such a clerk to cope up with such um, money finally she said in a hesitating hesitating voice i cannot tell exactly but it seems to me that 400 francs ought to be cover cover it 
so it will take more than 400 francs he turned pale pale means what almost shocked because he don't have so much money for he has saved just this money to buy a gun that he might be able to join some hunting parties in the next summer with some of the friends who went to shoot larks on sunday nevertheless he answered very well i'll give you 400 francs but try to have a pretty dress so search well i'll give you you want 400 cr francs okay let me find out so this 400 francs what it is keeping he is saving to keep to buy a gun for what he loves shooting he wanted to go and do a shooting with his friends in the holidays so he had kept that money so safely so that he can use it at the time and buy it but now his wife is he wanted to make his wife very happy so he thinks that it is not required and he gives that chases okay go and buy a pretty dress what fresh problems now disturbs madame loisel always a problem solved so now let's see how she has got another problem the day of the ball approach and madame loisel seemed sad disturbed and anxious nevertheless her ready dress was ready nearly ready her husband said to her one evening what's the matter with you you have acted strangely for the past two three days so he was able to understand that again after the dress also something is troubling her mind and heart though exactly he was not able to decipher what her problem was okay please read yes and she also replies what does she reply i am vexed not to have a jewel nothing to adorn myself with i shall have a, such a poverty stricken look i would prefer not to go to the private party so i don't have uh, anything to wear in the party there is nothing i could wear you know there is no jewelry with me i cannot wear it he replied you can wear some natural flowers in this season they look very chic so why don't you have some natural flowers they will look very beautiful she was not convinced no she replied there is something more humiliating there is nothing more humiliating than to have a shabby air in the midst of rich women so instead of going and standing before the rich women uh, without having proper jewelry it's better that i don't go to the occasion at all okay i would not prefer not to go to the party he replied you can wear some natural flowers in this reason they look very chic they she was not convinced no she said i cannot go and get insulted before the before and uh, and she was not interested to go okay she uttered a cry of joy it's true she said um how stupid we are go and find your friend madam frost Fro forestier and ask her to lend her jewels okay for that how stupid we are uh you can go and ask her then try it out you can go and ask her some jewelry no she will lend it after that you give it back to her yes she utterly cried out it's true i had never thought of that the next day she took herself to friends house and related her the story of tristress madam froster went to a closet took a large jewel case brought it open choose my dear she saw the first some bracelets then the collar of pearls then the venetian cross of the gold and jewels of the admirable workmanship she tried the jewelry before the glass hesitated but could rather decide to take them not leave them then she said have you nothing more why this look up for yourself i do not know what will please you suddenly she discovered a black satin box a superb necklace of diamonds her hands trembled as she took it out she placed it on her throat against her dress and was ecstatic ex ecstatic then she said in a hesitating full of anxiety could you lend me this only this why yes certainly okay so many jewelry from mrs frontier gave but she did not like any of them she finally selected the last one which she said that it suits me more than any other jewelry i will have this only okay yes then 
I do not know what will please you. Why? Yes, look for yourself. I do not know what will please yourself. Suddenly, she discovered in a black satin box. What is she seeing in the black satin box? A superb necklace. What did she see? A beautiful necklace made of diamonds. Her hands were trembling in the black satin box. Superb and the superb necklace of diamond. Her hands trembled as she took it out. She placed it in her throat against her dress. It was so ecstatic. Then she said in a hesitating voice, full of anxiety, could you lend me this, only this? Why? Yes, certainly. Okay, let's see what happened. So, she takes the jewelry and she goes home. She's so happy. Now, is the story going to be ended with this? Let's see. Please read and come children the remaining part of the story. Okay.